Hi class! Welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the mean, variance, and standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Okay, so bago yun guys, review mo natin yung mga formula natin. First, we have the population mean, which is equal to the summation of x over n. Then yung ating population variance is equal to the summation of the quantity of x minus the population mean squared all over n. Then yung ating population standard deviation is equal to the square root ng ating variance. Okay? Then ang formula naman natin for the mean of the sampling distribution is equal to the summation of the sample mean over the total of the number of the total observation. Okay? Then, the variance of the sampling distribution is equal to the summation of the quantity sample mean minus the uh, mean of the sampling distribution square over n. Then, ang ating standard deviation naman is just get the square root ng ating variance of the sampling distribution. Okay? So, let's have example number one. A population consists of three numbers, 2, 4, 6. Then consider all possible samples of size 2, which can be drawn with replacement from the population. So find the following, letter A, the population mean. Okay, so solve muna natin yung ating population mean. So since some population natin is 2, 4, 6, so that will be our x. Okay? So, nakita naman natin na yung formula ng ating population mean is equals to the summation of x over n. So, dito guys, uh, kukunin nyo lang yung total ng ating x. So, 2 plus 4 plus 6, that is equals to 12. Tama? So, pwede na natin yan i-substitute dun sa ating formula. So, that is 12 over n. So, ang n din natin dito guys is equals to 3. So, therefore, ang ating population mean is 12 over 3, that is equals to 4. Nakuha, guys? So, next is, pinakukuha yung ating population variance. So, ang formula ng ating population variance is the summation of x minus the population mean square over n. Okay, so ibig sabihin, uh, bago natin ma-apply yung ating formula, kailangan kunin muna natin yung, yung ating x minus population mean square. Tama? So para magawa yan, kukunin natin yung difference ng 2 doon sa ating population mean, then i-square. Okay, so try natin. So 2 minus 4, that is negative 2. Then, square, that is equals to 4. Then, 4 minus 4, that is 0. Then, square, that is 0. Next, we have 6 minus 4, that is 2. Then, square, that is equals to 4. Tama? Then, pwede na natin ngayon kunin yung summation ng ating x minus mean square, which is equals to 4 plus 0 plus 4, that is 8. Okay? So, substitute natin doon sa ating formula. That is 8 over n. So, ang n natin is 3. So, pag din-divide natin to guys, 8 divided by 3, that is equals to 2.67. So, ito na ngayon yung ating population variance. Okay? So, next is yung ating population standard deviation. So, based dun sa ating formula, to get the population standard deviation is kukunin lang natin yung square root ng ating population variance which is equals to 2.67. Okay? So, square root natin yan guys. Square root ng 2.67 is equals to 1.63. So, ito na ngayon yung ating population standard 
division. Nakuha? So, next is letter D. List all the sample size of 2. Again, ang sample size natin dito, dalawa, with replacement. Ibig sabihin, pwedeng maulit yung ating data. Okay, so again, ang ating population is 246. So, gawin natin is, ilist down natin lahat ng possible samples. Okay? So, para magawa yan, uh, unahin natin si 2. So, since with replacement tayo, so pwede tayong magkaroon ng 2, 2 as our sample. Followed by 2, 4. Then, 2, 6. Okay? Next, we have 4. Then, with replacement, so that is 4, 4. Then, we have 4, 2. Then, 4, 6. Tama? Then, we have 6. Then, with replacement, we have 6, 6. Then, 6, 2. And last, we have 6, 4. Okay? So, ngayon, um, pwede na natin kunin yung sample mean ng kada sample natin. Okay, so para makuha yon, i-add nyo lang to. Yung 2 plus 2, then di-divide nyo lang by 2. So, kinukuha lang natin yung average. Okay, so 2 plus 2, that's 4 divided by 2, that's 2. 2 plus 4, we have 6 divided by 2, that's 3. 2 plus 6, we have 8 divided by 2, that's 4. 4 plus 4, 8 divided by 2, 4. 4 plus 2, 6, divided by 2, that's 3. 4 plus 6, we have 10, divided by 2, 5. 6 plus 6, that's 12, divided by 2, we have 6. 6 plus 2, that's 8, divided by 2, that's 4. Then 6 plus 4, we have 10, divided by 2, 5. Okay? So ngayon, pwede na nating makompute yung ating um, mean ng ating sampling distribution. Okay? So, based dun sa ating formula, para makuha yung ating um, mean ng sampling distribution is kailangan kunin nyo lang yung summation ng ating sample mean divided by dun sa ating total number of observation. Tama, yung N. So, dito, kunin natin yung summation ng ating sample mean. So, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 3 plus 5 plus 6 plus 4 plus 5. That is equals to 36. Okay, so substitute natin dun sa ating given. So, 36 over N. So, ang N natin, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, that's 36 over 9. We have 4. Ito na ngayon yung ating uh, mean ng ating sampling distribution. Nakuha, guys? So, next is yung ating um, variance. So, dito guys, para makuha yung ating variance, is kailangan uh, kunin nyo muna yung ating uh, mean minus the mean ng ating sampling distribution. Okay? So, ang mean ng ating sampling distribution is 4. So, kukunin natin yung difference doon sa ating sample mean. Then, i-square natin. Okay? So, 2 minus 4, that's negative 2. Then, square, that is equals to 4. Okay? Then, 3 minus 4, that's 1. Negative 1, square, we have 1. 4 minus 4, that's 0. Square, 0. 4 minus 4, 0. Then, square, 0. 3 minus 4, we have negative 1. Then, square, that's positive 1. Then, 5 minus 4, that's 1. Then, squared, we have 1. 
6 minus 4, we have 2, then square, that's 4. 4 minus mean, which is 4, that is 0, then square, 0. 5 minus 4, that's 1, then square, we have 1. Tama? So, ngayon, after natin magawa tong column na to, guys, kunin nyo lang yung kanyang summation. Okay? So, i-add lang yan. So, 4 plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6, 7 plus 4, 11 plus 1, that's 12. Okay? So, after natin ngayon makuha yan, pwede na natin gamitin yung formula ng ating variance of the sampling distribution which is equals to the summation of the sample mean minus the mean ng ating sampling distribution square all over n. Okay? So, dito, ang value ng ating summation of the sample mean minus the mean ng ating sampling distribution square is equals to 12. So, yan yung ating magiging numerator divided by n. So, ang n natin dito is 9. Okay. So, ngayon, ang ating uh, variance ng ating sampling distribution is 12 divided by 9 which is equals to 1.33. Nakuha guys. So, after natin ngayon makuha yung ating variance, pwede na natin masolve yung ating uh, standard deviation of the sampling distribution which is equals to the square root ng ating variance. Okay, so ang variance natin dito, we have 1.33. So, ang standard deviation guys ng ating sampling distribution is equals to square root of 1.33 which is equals to 1.15. Okay. So, nakuha ba guys? So, this is the end of our video. I hope naintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba natin sinosolve yung ating mean, variance, and standard deviation ng ating sampling distribution. So, if, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!